Hello, welcome to this tutorial of using the Behringer XR18 and Persona. So what I got here is I have uh, Personas. I'm playing this. You probably can't hear that. So there's a delay and some other stuff that's actually coming from the air. So I'm going to play this. And then if I mute these, it becomes dry. I can mute the channel. I can mute the mains. I have, I can mix with the mixer of what's coming out of the DAW. I can use the EQ. I can use the EQ compressor, all the effects, everything that's in the XR18. So on this, I have like, um, on the effects here, I have, you know, vintage room, pitch shifter to make this sound like a um, 12 string guitar. So it's here. Don't know if you can hear that. And uh, then I have modulation delay and then the stereo combinator on the left and right. And I'm not using any buses for anything right now. So let's take a look at the... Let me turn this down here. I'm on the wrong one. I have to be on left and right. So let's take a look at the in and out, what I got. So I'm on main, coming right out of the mains of the XR18. And then on the USB sends, uh, it's basically all the same now the returns are a little different so I'm bringing all 16 back on 17 I guess they could be 18 too I don't know um, and then uh, the effects are coming in on left and right one and two and input is just regular where it's supposed to be and then on the like this guitar channel here I have that set up where it's using USB and using 17 just like it was 17 over here in this section on the return 17 and then I have uh, the USB trim so that's the volume of the USB coming back and what happens is Whatever the source is being recorded, it's recorded in dry. Like I recorded a dry guitar signal. So if I turn this off, it's just my plain old guitar going right into the XR18 and being recorded straight away on the track here. Um, all these still work. You can put effects on here. So if I want to put something... So I have like distortion on there. So if I go back to the XR, can turn this on. And so no, I have effects going on in Personas and also in the XR. So that is really cool. And I have full control over the faders in both areas. So all kinds of amazing things that this uh, this unit will do, and um, that concludes this tutorial. And I hope to see you in the next one. Take care now. Bye bye.